All right, everyone, welcome back to Joe Man's Land. I hope you're having an amazing day. I know what you're thinking. Three days in a row, three new videos. That's not the new normal on this channel, but I just had some old content that I wanted to roll out, that being the time-lapse video. Check above my left hand here if you'd like to see that. And the second video was that tutorial on how to get the most out of your DJI Decinolite color profile. Check above my left hand here if you'd like to see that. It's very transferable to any camera in terms of the cinematic settings that I use, as well as how I color it. But that's not the meat and potatoes of today's video. No, it is not. Another article has dropped. And this one has actually got some pretty strong verbiage in it. and. It's interesting. I would say it's definitely a lot more illuminating than my last uh, Nikon Rumors article review, which was about the um, rumors in China. Above my left hand here, if you'd like to see that. That article didn't really necessarily add a lot of value to the ongoing discussion about the Z8 and the other potential new camera drops from Nikon. But this one does, in my opinion at least. I think that this article's got a lot to add. So let's get to a coffee shop and let's get into what this newest article talks about. I made my favorite coffee shop here in downtown Calgary. What's it called? That's a secret because it's my secret spot to come and talk about Nikon. We've got some job. I'll start with that. I know what you guys are thinking. Iced coffee. I live in Canada. Does that make sense? It's seven degrees Celsius today, people. Like that's basically August. That's summer. Get the shorts out, get the pool noodle and get some iced coffee. All right, we are now on Nikon Rumors. Let's get into the article, which was released on March 31st, 2023. Let's get that headline. Nikon is rumored to announce two new cameras in 2023, the Z8 and another full frame model, no Z63 or Z73 on the horizon. Man, this is gonna get some people fired up right off the bat, which is honestly kind of fun. I like that. Let's get into it. Some of you may know that I like doing voices on this channel, so let's use a excessive overdub voice starting now. Nikon will not announce successors to the Z62 and Z72 cameras this year. We will be getting the Z8 within okay, weeks. No, 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 no. That's enough. That's enough. Okay. Let's not read the article that way. I'm just going to do it. I, I think it's better that way. Your voice is weird and boring and I cool. Excuse you. No, you sound cheesy. You sound like one of those like 90s trailer commercial guys. Those trailers were iconic and had meaning, you fool. No, no one liked that. That's horrible. Nikon will not announce successors to the Z62 and Z72 cameras this year. We will be getting a Nikon Z8 within weeks. A new teaser campaign is rumored. Okay, that's interesting. And there's also a second surprise full frame camera coming in the fall. That is all. No other new camera in 2023. I have no idea what the second camera will be. Here are the possibilities that Nikon Rumors thinks could be that second camera, according to them, maybe dropping in the fall again, according to them. A dedicated video camera. There's been a lot of video talk coming from Nikon. Okay, that's that, interesting. A retro full frame Z camera, a real Nikon DF replacement. Eh, it's kind of interesting. A small full frame vlogging camera, something like the ZV-E1. All right, so the first piece being that the Z8 will be dropped in the next couple of weeks, according to this article, or the sources that this article has. So that is, uh, that's exciting. I would be curious where that information is coming from. You know, I think that there's been a lot of discussion about when the Z8 will be dropped. A lot of people thought that it might be at CP Plus this year or that saved the date for the Philippines. It was neither. There were some interesting interviews that came out of CP Plus this year um, for Nikon, one of which being that real emphasis on uh, video features and um, Nikon wanting to promote that more in their cameras, which was pretty interesting. Is that signaling towards a more video-centric camera body? Maybe that one coming in the fall? Uh, I think it could be. There were so many sales of the Z30 and the ZFC that maybe it's gonna be a future iteration of that, maybe a full frame version more for vlogging. I think that could be an interesting camera. I don't know if it's something that I would get right away. The Z8 coming out in two weeks, I think that would be great. Of course, we've all been waiting for a new camera from Nikon for the last little bit. There's been a lot of discussion of when that will be. Nikon hasn't like solidly said, our new camera will be coming out on this day. All of this is theoretical. This is all just, you know, pages like Nikon rumors and other rumor mills getting into this. I think Nikon does need to put out a solid release date for their new camera. The Z8 will be exciting. Would I have liked to have seen a Z6 III come out before the Z8 or later this year? Definitely. So this article saying that there will not be a Z6 III this year is kind of disappointing. I think that they could have packed a lot of great video specs into that camera, especially with how great the Z6 and Z6 II were for that. And it could have been an awesome hybrid 
hybrid shooter. I don't think necessarily putting out a vlogging first video centric camera is going to do a lot for the more prosumer crowd. I think it'll do a lot for the folks that just want to vlog, which there's nothing wrong with that. That's great. You know, folks that already have the Z30 and they are just shooting selfie style vlogs. A full frame equivalent of that in the fall could be exciting, but at least for me with my Z6, I shoot photo and video with that camera. I only have one main camera, which is my Z6. I use it for photo and video, hence why I was not able to get into NPS. You have to have two, apparently. That I don't agree with that, but you know, that's what Nikon's take is on that. Right now you're seeing through the pocket too. That's my vlogging camera. I don't see myself picking up a Z30 or another Nikon vlogging style camera, at least while I have my Z6. Again, I think the Z63, 4K 120, full frame, 6K 30, all of it in analog internal would be the perfect camera for me. Maybe that's not for you. Maybe you're looking for more of a vlog first camera or maybe you're waiting for the z8 with a megapixel beast that's got the autofocus and the same sensor potentially as the z9 either way comment below which camera you're looking forward to and why i think this article is interesting um like i said at the outset it was very uh, strongly written in terms of whoever wrote it being very confident in what they are saying there's been a lot of chatter on other channels about there being a potential z63 and it seems that the author of this article vehemently believes there will not be a z63 this year so you know, I, uh, I'm kind of bummed out, to be honest with you folks. 6.3 is the camera that I would probably save up for and buy next. A Z8 or a full frame vlogging camera, it's not really something that is necessarily um, gonna help my work. For those of you watching, I, I'm a marketing person, right? I use my camera in a lot of my day to day. It's not my main job, but having a hybrid shooter that I can rely on is crucial. So a vlogging camera probably wouldn't be it. All right, folks, well, let's leave this one here. Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and remember to take beautiful photos every single day. Don't do it for the views. Do it for yourself. And I look forward to seeing you all in the next one.